Oh, yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? Stack Apples Jack here, bringing you a kind of emergency video. So, as you can see, just minutes ago, Mental Material News posted, of course, this is not the official Mental Materials Twitter, but he is a great, great news page, puts up great DD. He posts both sides, good and bad, of Mental Materials, saying, go give him a follow. But as you can see, it says here, don't sell your MMTLP shares. See here, it's confirmed that short positions and hedge funds are trying to make you, the preferred dividend shareholder, sell your dividend for a lesser value. Short positions know that the sale of the land that goes towards the dividend is going to be extremely high, making them pay back the high dividend. Now, of course, again, take this with a grain of salt, but, and I personally, myself, of course, it's not financial advice, guys. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I believe it's going to be sold for a high value as well. Therefore, the shorts are going absolutely crazy, and we'll talk about more here. October 7th, Meta Materials Preferred Dividend became tradable on all platforms. The company did not, did not make an official announcement regarding this, and I'll show you proof now in a minute. It's confirmed that hedge funds and short positions are manipulating the preferred dividend by making the shareholders sell for a lesser value. This is the opportunity to purchase MMTLP and be eligible for the special dividend, which is expected to take place before December 31st. And if the land is not sold, the company will issue a spin-off. This is some big news happening overnight, you know, within the last few hours. But continuing on, as you can see, John Brita, I guess that's how you pronounce his last name. Sorry if that's wrong. The MMTLP profiles all from 2012. This smells like something nefarious from people who are not good people. I will get to the bottom of this as they are using my information in error as well. And as you can see, you might be saying, oh, who's John Breda? John Breda was the president of Torchlight Energy Resources. So he's saying the profile's from 2012 and all of a sudden it's up and running again. And as you can see here, if we go down through some of the comments, somebody said, safe to buy MMTLP. He says, I have no idea, honestly. I don't understand how this happened. The fact that the former president of Torchlight Energy Resources do not know what is going on, sending massive question marks and leading to many questions. What are the hedge funds doing? How are they able to do this? Jamie Vincent posted this about 30 minutes ago. He said, yep, that data is from Thursday, June 24th. On Friday, June 25th, at closing, the stock was delisted. In my opinion, we trapped more than a few. As you can see, this is extremely small. I apologize. But the short borrow fee rate back on June 24th was 649.72%. As you can see, the short squeeze indicator was ranked number one out of 10,266 stocks. So there's many people speculating this is a way for the shorts to get a position in there so they don't have to pay back as much. But, of course... You know, it's all speculation. The hedge funds, it seems like there's lots of manipulation going on. We still haven't got an official, official announcement from Meta himself or George. He hasn't said anything. I believe they're working behind the scenes very hard to try to, to figure out what is going on. As you can see here, John Breda again says, I have no idea what this refers to. Meta was not responsible for listing these shares today, nor was the company involved. Guys, this is crazy. This is insane. I just wanted to bring you this very quick video. I don't usually upload Saturdays, but of course, if you like the video, please subscribe for more content and have a great day.